because who wants to be just eating? These are the ramen style soups, but I don't want to eat no ramen style soup. I, I've always hated that. But making it into an actual soup where I've got canned fish products that I can, you know, add to it when I feel like it. What? You never had gumbo before? Gumbo is nothing but seafood stew. That's what they said to about Obama when he first got in office. The president had seafood stew because they were afraid to announce that he had gumbo. Okay? To keep from saying the man was ghetto, they said he had seafood stew. Lordy B. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to do is not seafood stew. I have this sweet chili sauce. And this one, the chicken... Or no, this is Chinese, Chinese chow mein. This is the actual cup soup that I got, Chinese chow mein, and I'm about to enjoy it. Why? Because I'm not hungry. I just, I really haven't eaten. What did I eat today? Oh, I had quesadillas. Man, you've been doing a lot of quesadillas. That's right, because I like my quesadillas. My quesadillas, I can't eat just one or two. Okay. That's a lot of cholesterol. Don't worry about what it is. You go worry about you. You do what you do. You let me do what I do. Okay? You worry about you. You let me do what I do. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, there's a lot of talk about tax credits now. A lot of people are doing the research because there's some idiot out there on YouTube talking about tax credits and helping people understand a little bit more about tax credits, understanding that tax credits can only come from the government. You cannot get tax credits from your homie unless he sells them to you, and he had to have gotten them from the government. Tax credits work a lot different than deductions. Okay? Tax credits work a lot different than deductions. Tax credits, you don't have to ask for permission. Tax credits, the only thing you have to do is document. So I told somebody I was going to mention this to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, people have been sending money orders to these companies. I've always told people to keep a copy of your money orders. I told them that you should always have a copy of the money orders that you're sending to these different corporations. Don't just send them just to be sending them. You have to have a legitimate reason for sending them. You can't just make them up for nothing. Remember? In 2012, those of you who've been around that long, I told you that I wrote five money orders to the United States Treasury. Five money orders. Four of them, no, three of them for $480 trillion. Two of them, no, two of them for $480 trillion. And then the other four, no, two and then three. So the other three was for 600, no, 420 trillion, 680 trillion. Let's get the numbers correct because the national deficit was 680 trillion at the time. Now, I wasn't trying to pay down the deficit. You can't do that. That's, whew, you can't pay off the deficit. Not one person. That's economic terrorism. Yep, they got a law for it. So I wasn't paying down the deficit. I was crediting my account. If I got an account with the government, I was crediting it. So it doesn't matter what they say, because the Treasury never returned those items. They never said they were invalid. They never said, this is bogus, this is bull. I sent it to the Treasury, and I sent it, when I sent it to them, I put my return address on the envelope. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't hiding who I was. I did a video showing everybody what I was doing. Had my Puerto Rican address on it. I didn't hide it because I wasn't trying to hide. Now, you, we both know what they did, don't we? Right after I did that, I told you they were going to come after me. Why? Because they couldn't have me showing them up like that. Showing how their system, how backwards their system was. And sure enough, they came after me. Everybody thinks, oh, they came after you because of your past. They didn't come after me because of my past. That's why they keep releasing me. Why? Because... My past ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not required to do what you keep hearing them say. If I was, then why aren't I doing it now? 
So stop, stop believing that bull crap. Uh, by the way, many of you have seen that photo that they have been showing of me, supposedly my incarceration photo. Don't believe that that's me. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't look nothing like that. That photo has been so doctored, it's pathetic. And the reason why it's been doctored is because they had to make me look like I was crazy. Why? Because too many people were listening to what I have to say. That's the first thing they do. You guys haven't heard? Is they have to paint you as crazy. That's what they did to Alex Jones. Well, he is crazy. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. He's always talking about grab your guns and don't tread on me. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing they do is they call you names. Then they talk about you. Then they say you're crazy. Then they say you did this and you did that. They, they try to vilify you. Why? Because we are judgmental as human beings. We judge our mama. We judge our papas. We judge our sisters. We judge our brothers. We judge our aunts. We judge our nieces. We judge our nephews. We are judgmental as a society. We're constantly judging someone. So, follow me, ladies and gentlemen. In this world that we're living in today, let's talk about what we have going for ourselves. Each one of you who wrote those money orders, you wrote them to your bank, you wrote them to your car dealerships, you wrote them to the schools, you wrote them to the government, you wrote them to the IRS, you wrote them to the treasury. Document it. You don't actually have to have a copy of what you wrote. But if you have a copy, if you made a copy, by all means, take that copy, attach it. Why? If you did one of the hour style money orders that has in the section right underneath the pay to the order of, that it was an item of credit, you have a right to extend credit to people. You have that right. And if they fail to dishonor that instrument, then they have to count it as acceptance. There's a time frame for dishonor. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you have no clue of what I'm talking about, so do your research. Timely dishonor is all you got to put in Google and just start doing your research course for you. If they fail the timely dishonor, it's the acceptance. So now you have proof of a debt that you paid someone. You have to document this. You can't just do it and not document it. So document it, people. Document, show proof that you sent it to them. Remember, <laughs> I did mine on video. Okay? I even showed a copy of the envelope. You think I did that because I was trying to be stupid or crazy? No. Because I knew that this day was coming. I did that in anticipation of now. Remember when Jesus is at Simon's house and all of the other people are there and Lazarus is there and they're talking about Lazarus and how he had been resurrected. All the people are talking about Lazarus because Lazarus is the talk of the town. Been dead for four days and he's resurrected. I don't believe that. I didn't ask you what you believe. What you believe ain't got nothing to do with the conversation. Ignorant mother. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. What needs to be said, ladies and gentlemen, is Mary Magdalene, that young lady was there, and she is greasing Jesus' head and wiping his feet. And Judas, the thief, yes, Judas was a thief. He used to steal from the money box. Go back, read the book of Mark. Highlights that and go read the book of John. He highlights that. But Judas says, what is this waste? This oil could have been sold for 600 denarii. And the money given to the poor. John says he wasn't caring about nobody's poor. He was a thief. Notice what Jesus said. Leave her alone. Go back and read it. He said, leave her alone. What are you doing? Leave her alone. What this woman did will be talked about throughout generations. Because what she did was to prepare me for burial. She did this in anticipation of the burial. 
You know what nobody paid attention to? He wasn't speaking metaphorically. That's the type of faith Mary had. He said she did this in anticipation of the burial. Why? Because Mary had faith in who he was because her brother had just been resurrected. And he had already been talking about his death. So she believed that he was going to be put to death. And so she, in anticipation of that death, because she paid attention, did that in preparation of his death. Thus he could say that. But ladies and gentlemen, I, in anticipation of this day in which we are living, And knowing that eventually I was going to figure out the tax credit thing, created credit. I said it on video that I was creating credit. And thus, now I get to reap the benefits of that credit. I just have to take a a time. Okay. But here's the thing. (laughs) You guys understand, I could have done this without you. No, I I didn't say I couldn't have done this without you. I said I could have done this without you. I didn't have to bring you along with me. I could have taken this trip by myself. But then that would have been selfishness. So what I'm going to explain to you is this before I go eat. Because it's ready. Take all of your instruments that you sent to everybody else. I don't care if it was A for V. Ladies and gentlemen. There is no money. It's only credit. If you sent them an A for V and you have proof that you sent them an A for V, document it. Put it on your Schedule C of your 1040 and send it into the IRS. You don't need their approval. You just have to document it and include it in your taxes. You will be tax exempt for the rest of the time you exist. And if you learn how to transfer and sell tax credits, you could potentially start your own business. Okay? You're going to have to listen to this. Go back over it again. Listen to it and understand what you need to do. Now, uh, wait, you got to do your research because you know that somebody's going to say, you can't do that. So you're going to need to explain to them. See, most of you are going to be trying to prove, yes, I can, because this says it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't operate that way. I don't try to rebut their presumption. (laughs) You know what the first thing I say when somebody tells me I can't do something? I say, what are you talking about? I just did. How are you going to tell me what I can't do and I just did it? Now prove to me I can't do it. If you can't prove to me I can't do it, then you need to shut up. Because why? I'm the one who raised the presumption in the first place by doing it. So prove to me I can't do it. You have to rebut my presumption if you want to go by that stupid presumption stuff. That's how I operate. People keep saying how a person operates in and out of the matrix. Well, that's how I operate. I take their presumption and I'm the first to raise the presumption because I do things. I don't ask them for permission. Go ahead and take a look at my life. Take a look at my videos. Take a look at what I've done. Take a look at what I've accomplished and see. I've never asked anybody for a single bit of permission. When I did the hour sound money orders, you didn't hear me asking. When I started the arbitration association, you didn't hear me asking. I didn't ask for permission. Yes, I'm the founder of the arbitration association. When I told you guys I was going to create securities, Securities Acquisition Trust Commission, I didn't ask anybody for permission. I don't have to ask for permission. Since one is a grown man who has property, has to ask for permission to use this property. You know what the city and the state and the county has told me? Then I need a permit to do this and I need a permit to do that. I don't need your permission to do anything when it comes to my property. This is mine. I'm the one who does what I need to do with what's mine. You don't give me permission to use my own property. You must be out of your mind. That's my conversations with them. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your tax credits. You don't need to ask anybody for tax credits. You just need to follow procedure. Document the tax credits. Send your notices to them saying, hey, I forgive you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I forgive you. And forgive them their debt. 
not the offense that they caused, but the debt. Same as I'm about to forgive California. Because what you all don't know, and I've mentioned it once or twice, probably mentioned it as early as earlier today. What you all may not be aware of is that not a single one of my arbitration awards that would been, have been issued to me as a person has ever been contested by anyone. Nobody has ever said, this is bull, Your Honor. This is bogus. This award is invalid. Nobody. Nobody has ever stood to challenge my awards. Thank you for validating them. Because I can show proof that they've all been served. I can show proof because I put proof on the record. Yes, in 2018, all of the companies, I served them, including a particular court that we were in on a foreclosure. I served the court, made the court part of the agreement. I served the court that I was in, sent them a contract. They never contested it. You know, the judge said, I don't think you can make arbitration a part of a criminal matter. What are you talking about? My response, what are you talking about? You do plea agreements all the time. Plea agreements are civil. They're not criminal. You do plea agreements and criminal matters all the time. Of course, I can introduce a contract to the court with the court because a plea agreement is a contract with the court and with the state. Of course, I can do that. That's what I was bringing up on appeal. That's why they would not let me do my appeal. Okay? Again, didn't ask them for their permission. I'm not asking for permission. I know what I got the right to do because my rights belong to me. My rights are my possession, my property. I do with my property whatever I choose. Once you understand that, uh, life is so much better. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to do is go eat. I'm glad that you guys allowed me to do this video. I'm going to title it something as I did it my way. It's my property. I do whatever the, I wanted with my property. That's how I'm going to do this. So it's 6.40 p.m. This is January 6th, Thursday, 2022. Welcome to the new year, everybody. I got to go. I got to go eat. Transferring some files on one computer. Got the other computer uploading a video to YouTube. So this video will be up uh, pretty much before the other video is up. I think this one will load faster than the other one. Uh, but whatever is clever, thank you all for taking the time. The other video says 58 minutes. This video should be up in about 40 minutes because it's shorter. All right, so we will speak to you all later. The other video is talking about the constitutional challenge motion. That is complete, and it is online for all of you. The link is in the video description for that video. Hey, everybody, I got to go. Y'all take care, okay? Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye, baby. I see you guys.